The overall goal of the following experiment is to test hippocampal dependent learning and memory. On day one, the mouse is trained to find a raised flagged platform that is randomly placed in a pool of clear water to allow the mouse to learn that the task has an escapable endpoint. As a second step, the mouse is trained on subsequent days by being released into a pool of opaque water from different positions, with the platform submerged and fixed in one location. This allows the mouse to learn the location of the platform by using the surrounding cues. Next, the platform is removed on the final day, and the swim pattern of the mouse is tracked for one minute in order to access task acquisition and hence learning and memory. Results are obtained that show impairments in spatial learning and memory based on the escape latencies and path length seen in the three different testing conditions. The main advantage of this technique over existing maces is that it's relatively simple to differentiate between special hidden platform and non-special visible platform conditions. Generally, people new to this method may struggle because it's sensitive to experimenter handling. You have to ensure the mice aren't stressed during the procedures. This could affect the results. Demonstrating this procedure will be Ms. Kelly bromney Bretz and Ms. Yu Den, graduate students from my laboratories. First, secure a circular pool. If the experimental mice are black, use a white pool, and if mice are white, use a black pool. Now arrange the room with dividers such that the animals being tested will not see the experimenter during testing. Place high contrast spatial cues about the room and on the interior of the pool at a location that will be above the water surface. Fill the pool with water and equilibrate to room temperature. Then place a 10 cm diameter platform in the pool 1 cm above the water surface, white for a white pool or clear plexiglass for a